Thank you so much, Burchin, and thanks to all of you for tuning in, and you'll be glad you did. Now, we won't get to see him take the stage until tomorrow, but we're lucky enough to have him here for a little sneak peek. Please welcome Oracle Executive Vice President of Applications Development, Steve Miranda. Welcome to Oracle TV. Thank you for having me, it's great. I, sh I should say welcome back. You've done that. This is now your second time back on. Back to back years, hopefully make a streak out of it. Oh, absolutely. A veteran, a yeah. veteran. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, Steve, tomorrow is a big day for you. You yeah. are taking the main stage keynote hall yeah. at 9 a.m. Hey, for those of you who are tuning in, make sure that you stay tuned for that. And Safra kicked us off today by talking about customer success being at the heart of everything we do. So give us a sneak peek. Who is joining your keynote tomorrow? Which customers? And what are you excited about from their stories? Well, we're thrilled. So as part of my keynote, we have a number of announcements we'll get to in a minute. But we have the stars of the show are three customers. So we have representatives from Providence Health, from KPN, uh, and also from Kohu. So a telco, a high-tech manufacturer, as well as a, a healthcare uh, industry. And they're going to be all talking about, they all have full suite fusion application all at the end of their journey and really starting to talk about value realization. Because what we're hearing more and more from our customers, they've made the choice to go to cloud, sometimes they've gone full big bang, a lot, most often phases, right. but now it's achieving value and success. And really credit to those three customers, they are doing outstanding. Uh, those three representatives, they're all heroes within their organization. Uh, and we're thrilled to have them, and it's going to be really good to hear their stories about how and why, and now what's next, how they take advantage of the speed of innovation we deliver, and all, all our new announcements. Yeah, well let's talk about that. Your keynote is chock full of all the innovation in Fusion applications, our, our secret sauce. Can you give us a sneak peek on what we might hear there? Absolutely. So, you know, what's on everybody's mind nowadays is AI, and specifically generative AI. So, I'll be announcing over 60 new use cases that'll come out over the next two to three quarters out of our standard release that are available to all of our customers. So 100% will get them. And there are things like, you know, using generative AI to respond to support tickets, using generative AI to generate proposals, that's in the CX area for sales and marketing. In HCM, using generative AI to, to generate employee surveys to your, to your employees, using it to create job posts, uh, you know, so you don't have to write, you need two years of qualification and a university degree, AI will generate that for you. In financials, we have it where it's something we call narrative reporting. So you can take a financial statement or an income statement and the AI will summarize it for you. It will show you, well, this is, this is a big difference from last year. Here's a summary of what the financial report means. All of which where we never share our data so that we never use our customer's data to train right. AI. We never pass PII to the AI. Uh, and we always have it humanly reviewable. So a whole big announcement on AI and, and what I'm most excited about is actually not even the, the, the use cases, but once we give it to our customers, those 14,000 customers we have on Fusion, they're just going to give us tons of new ideas, and we're going to work as a community to get it together. Yeah, so that's, that's one big one. Yeah, that's that's a, that's huge. By the way, can I use uh, the HCM AI to do Kendall's performance review? You could reduce Kendall's goals. Okay, there you uh, go. Because <laughs> yeah. the performance like, review still goal. hasn't happened, so, yeah. so waiting on that. <laughs> yeah, so you use it for goals, uh, you put in the goals, we give you suggestions, and then you uh, approve it or not as a, as a human. But yes, very real use case. Okay. But that's exactly a perfect example. It takes what, let's say, some managers, not you, of course, but some managers might say is a little bit tedious, not their favorite activity, and makes it a little bit easier for them, writes the text for them. So it's a perfect example. Got so it. AI is one. That's one. Next one, uh, Fusion uh, Data informa uh, Information Platform. So a whole new uh, offering around what used to be uh, a Fusion Application Warehouse. We've taken that, we've added, again, machine learning and AI to have it be much more predictive, much more action-oriented, taking those actions and sending them to the transaction app, and then also making it so you can supplement it with third-party data. So if you use Fusion, it's great. If you use Fusion plus other things, a brand new set of AI and financial reporting capabilities there. That's the second one. And then the third one, which is we were also really thrilled, last year we said, we introduced B2B, and we had two partners, JP Morgan and FedEx, right. and we said there's going to be more. So this year we've extended to have MasterCard and HSBC. And it's again, taking those end-to-end -end transactions, in particularly things like virtual card, and taking, you know, you and I as consumers, we spend on our credit card. We don't write checks for anything you spend on credit card, and there's lots of benefits to us. There's lots of benefits to the suppliers for that. But in a business, people don't really do that. And one of the biggest issues is 
it's so hard for a business to apply for these cards, because they're very specific cards, they're not general, they're almost like a PO, or like a P card. Sure. So what we've taken as our ERP, integrated with MasterCard and HSBC, makes it easy and frictionless to get a virtual card, and then you get all the benefits of using a credit card, suppliers get all the benefits, and it's seamless to you, a complete B2B transaction. So just filling out those B2B partnerships. Wow, so much to come. Very much looking forward to this tomorrow. Okay, but besides great products and a constant stream of innovation, which you just talked about, what else are we doing to really um, ensure our customers' success? Well, I mean, you just said the customer success. I thought Safra was a great example. So we've really reoriented the entire company, including brand new jobs, things like customer success managers. We've moved the support organization tighter to development. And almost every meeting I'm having, I'm, I'm really booked you know, from sunrise to sunset, is talking about executive sponsorships. And either myself or people from my development team are on steering committee meetings advising the customers how to use the product um, and, and how to really be successful. In addition to that, we've really democratized things with our customer connect. Yeah. So we have 300,000 people now on an online forum, customers, SI partners, and our product managers. And so they have what we call ideas. These are enhancements to the product. Anybody can log the idea, but what's great about it now is you've got product managers responding in real time. And this doesn't have to be you know, a manager or some rep. These are people who detailed who use our products every day, right. talking to the designers of the products who build our products every day, and really going back and forth. And then sometimes you have partners who chime in and say, you know what, we've actually solved that problem and here's how we've done it. And then, so it's an it's a ongoing community dialogue. So it's a much, much different model than what we had before. Very cool, I love that. Um, what do you say to customers, and I know a few of them, who are not ready, I try, I yeah. try to help, <laughs> who are not ready to move to Fusion applications yet? Well, so first off, I think what you hear tomorrow is from our three customers, they don't have to hear it from me, they can hear from them. Even we, better. We very, much, we very much understand that there's apprehension. I mean, these are long-term commitments. Sure. We can do and say whatever we want. I, hopefully with the 14,000 customers, we know we can run your business. Yeah. But you've got data migration, you've got change management. It's a technical project, there's some risk associated with it. So what I always tell them is talk to our existing customers. In fact, talk to the ones who are skeptical or doubtful or nervous because now we have use case after use case that what Safra talked about this morning, she mentioned the word courage, she mentioned the word risk, she mentioned the word leadership. And what we're going to show them in our, in our keynote session tomorrow is that, yes, there's all those things, there's a, you have right to be apprehensive about it, right to be nervous, we are going to make you successful. And we're going to make you successful because sometimes pe people confuse not doing things as a less risky proposition. Oftentimes in today's world with technology evolving, it's more risky not to move forward. You're going to be behind the time you're going to be late. Right. And so that, I'll say it, but more importantly, our customers will say it. What are those common you know, roadblocks? What are those common risks they're citing? It's just, is it in entrenchment in what they're doing or? You know, most often it's people change. I mean, it's really hard. I mean, I'm in this business and my iPhone app, when it tells me, do you want to update your apps? I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know <laughs> right? I want it to work. <laughs> like, right, I, right. do I want to press that button? You know, now, generationally, my, you know, my son's a lot younger than I am. He's in a new generation. He looks at it and he's like, why don't you have this automatic update? Takes my phone and change it and boom, there you go. So it's, it's just, it's people change and it's getting used to it. But I think what you'll find is, again, from listening to our customers on the other side of that journey, not only have they been successful, but now it's a culture change. Right. Now that we give them quarterly updates, hey, we're never going to do a big upgrade again, ever. Right. But we got incremental features and we're going to adopt that. And so. We're moving through the cultural change, our, cult our customers are doing it, and you know, the ones who've gone through it are extremely successful. And, and their employees are super happy and successful. That's what we've been hearing. That's and right. By the way, Steve, you know, those who aren't um, on Fusion Cloud applications, we do ensure that they leave here promising that they, they eventually will be. We, con we have a few contracts. Yeah, we have some you. contracts, so just so you know. <laughs> That's we, what we need? Yeah. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, to wrap up here, we are at Cloud World 2023. Um, we are wrapping up our day here on Oracle TV. How has the conference been treating you and your team thus far? I mean, it's great. You can see from the crowd behind us, I think everyone probably noticed if you watched TV last year, I mean, we are back. I mean, the, 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 the world is back post-COVID. We are, it is extremely crowded and it's extremely energetic. And I think it's a combination of 
you know, what we've been talking about, the innovation we provided, and frankly, our customers' feedback and making us just better and better. So, and you know, you guys doing events like this, it's making it much more open to people, literally. Literally. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it's great, I mean, the energy's back, uh, and we're, we're really, it, it excites us, and it helps us uh, you know, motivate the team to deliver for our customers. Well, we certainly cannot wait for you to stay, take the stage tomorrow. We're very much looking forward to your keynote, and thank you so much for giving us the sneak peek on uh, Oracle TV. Pleasure, anytime. All right, we are going to take a quick break for some Oracle Red Bull racing awesomeness because what a season it's been. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back right after that.